So before we start talking about punch boosting, I just want to take the time to say thank you guys so, so much for all the support on the Season 13 video. It was my first non-short video to hit over 1k views in so many years, and I cannot describe how happy that makes me, bro. Also, shout out to all the new subscribers. I can't promise that I'll always be making Apex Legends videos, but if you liked the editing and the vibe of the last one, I can only promise that there's more like it on the way. Now, let's move on to... I just attacked my camera. Once upon a time, there existed a movement technique that was easy to perform, easy to apply, and best of all, regardless of input, everyone could use it. I just covered season 13 in my last video, but we're gonna need to go back to season 11 because that's when it was discovered, although I never mentioned it in my season 11 videos. On December 10th, 2021, Moki Sniper, who was known for posting Apex movement tech videos, posted a YouTube video describing a new game-changing movement tech. However, an Apex content creator by the name of Wraith Crew was actually the one who discovered the tech, and she named it... To execute a punch boost, you just needed to find a point in the world that was at a higher elevation than your feet, crouch, and then just punch it while holding backwards. Wait, that's that's really it? Yes, that's really it. If the point was actually a giant slope, you could chain your punches together and gain massive amounts of speed, just like this. <laughs> it's also important to mention that with punch boosting, you would lose a bit of speed by touching the floor again. But this was not the case in water, where you could punch boost and keep a constant speed, allowing you to quickly move across water. Like I can do this forever, if I stay in the right direction. Okay, yeah. Looking back, this movement tech might have been a little too crazy. And the funniest part is that it should have never existed in the first place. You see, prior to Season 11, there was a tech to cancel the stun you received when falling from a tall height. <laughs> My ears burned! All you had to do to cancel the stun was punch a wall near the ground where you landed and boom! No fall stun. However, during Season 11, and perhaps because of the update itself, they broke this tech and in its wake left behind the mechanic that later led to punch boosting. Man, Tariq. <laughs> you see, on the same day Moki Sniper and Wraith Crew posted their videos about punch boosting, another Apex movement tuber by the name of Tree posted a video saying that the punch stun removal actually broke all movement, but in a good way. Because you could punch any point above you and receive a boost backwards, this meant that you could do it from any wall in the game, and better yet, you could combo with other movement techs. Tree's video is full of this genuinely crazy stuff. What the fuck is this horizon on, bro? But the festivities would not last for long. Two months after punch boosting was discovered, season 12 launched which effectively removed it and any related mechanics, and Respawn even mentioned its removal in the patch notes. Moki Sniper made a video not too long after saying that there was still a way to punch boost, but it had limited applications, required actual timing, and you couldn't chain them together to gain massive amounts of speed. So the real punch boosting was dead. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this has to be the fastest that a non-exploit movement tech has been removed from Apex Legends. Of course, after all this time, I can confidently say that Respawn was definitely right to remove this from the game, because punch boosting just trivialized some sections of some maps. Admittedly, it was stronger on Stormpoint and Olympus just because those maps had more massive slopes, but since you could use it on any elevation higher than you, there wasn't a spot on any map in Apex where punch boosting wasn't at least a little relevant. That's a powerful tool that you could either cater to and design around or just remove it completely and stick to your original vision. Respawn chose the latter. And to tell the truth, Apex's engine is so crazy that punch boosting will probably end up being a drop in the ocean that is the movement mechanics of the game. People forgot about punch boosting because soon after it was removed, the super glide craze hit. Then it was Neo strafing, which got so bad due to cheating configs that Respawn removed the ability to add config to the game. So now controller players can no longer tap strafe. 
just the other day I saw someone super glide off of seemingly nothing, a movement tech discovered by a YouTuber named Butterboy that they call super ground. And it's hard. All this to say that Apex's engine is still super unexplored and super young, so there's no doubt in my mind that someday a movement tech more insane than punch boosting will sprout up and break the game again. But until then, let's take a look at the only clip I have of me using punch boosting in a fight. Where's the other guy? On the on you? Two, both on you. Huh? Here, 130. Wait this, wait this flash, wait this flash, you win that, you win. Wow. That was uh, pretty underwhelming, I guess.